How y'all doing? What's what's going on in this video? Well, we're playing stacking. That's right. Let's play stacking. You guys know this by now. And we're still on the Zeppelin. The sweet Zeppelin. It's a very smooth ride so far. I mean, this thing's got some great automated stabilizer ballast things, I'm sure. Because, you know, this ride has not been disrupted in the slightest. Um... What are we doing in this this one in this uh, chapter this act whatever we're calling it? Well, you would think it'd be stop that car, but no that is saved for a little later and Not by my own choice really. I mean we're, we're doing these things as as they come. It's just for whatever reason they decide to s Include stop that car right from the get-go. I'm not exactly sure why but anyways this video we're going to break out of the brig we get thrown in jail. That's right. You're going to see it happen. So we're going to follow this purple line. That's, you know, in case you haven't connected that dot so far. If you push the uh, the right bumper, it gives you the purple bluish hue uh, line that tells you basically where you should be going to complete the, the main story anyways. It doesn't always tell you or never tells you kind of side quest sort of stuff or finding special things it's just saying how you get to the next part of the game so uh, we got caught because the only way we could get into that part of the ship or the zeppelin sorry is to be charlie and of course they've got all these wanted posters for charlie and they see us and they throw us in here with one of the ambassadors who looks like abe lincoln everybody with that kind of beard automatically abe lincoln well if you have darker hair anyways I'd hate you know what does what would a ginger Abe Lincoln look like that'd be weird so we've got a few different characters in here all of which are pretty special um three solutions in this one and actually it's this one's a slightly it's pretty tricky actually it took me a little while to get the one in particular, because I wasn't quite sure how to do it. I knew what we had to do. But anyways, this guy's a fireman. Or fire chief, I should say. Fire chief Russell. And what can he get? He can put out the fire. That's just commonsensical, right? And you can see that little passageway back there. Um, I didn't do it soon enough. But Charlie can fit through there. Only, of course, if there's no fire. So you just got to make sure you do it quicker. There we go. And we're out. Freedom. What's with all these fish? I'm not a runt. You guys are big duty heads. Don't call me a runt. Okay. So that got Abe Lincoln out. And he's added his two cents, just like all the other ambassadors thus far. Oh, it's even now for the, the battle against child labor. We gotta get rid of it. This is important stuff. Still these fish. I mean, I know what they're for, but I'm gonna pretend I don't. And then I'm gonna be all shocked when we get to that part where you do get to see what they're for. And you guys are gonna be like, wow, this guy's such a great actor. He knew all along, but he still was so surprised when it happened. That's what acting is. Okay, so we're back in here. Not a big deal. Recreation Officer Chip, get back in Fire Chief, and then we've got uh, this guy who can give a discerning graze, you know, it's that point out unique dolls type ability. <clears throat> He's big enough to push that little roller skate, but the problem is, I can't quite remember how we get the, because the guard is supposed to come rushing in and he trips on the roller skate. So when one falls, they all fall. But I don't think that that doesn't have anything to do with the uh, solution we just started. You see these dominoes? We're going to knock them over. That's part of a different solution, but it's a solution no less. So I think those are like little candies, maybe cinnamon hearts. I'm not exactly sure. But that's how we get the pelican down. And you know what pelicans do. They fly to their, fly to their nest. And... Of course, his nest is built by an exit, so... <clears throat> oh, he comes running in. Where did that go? I got inside a bird and I flew away. Just like Lenny Kravitz. 
I want to get away. I want to fly away. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop because I don't want you to leave because of my bad singing. Okay, guys, one more. And I want to do it. See, you saw to my right the little glowing, glowing, um, what do you call those things? The, the air pumps? Uh-oh. Some post-its just fell off my wall, if you could hear that. I don't like that. So, you know, at this point, I'm just getting desperate. I'm like, yeah, maybe this water will penetrate through this solid door of oak and brass. But it doesn't, of course. Like, I know it doesn't. I'm just basically trying to get my mind on the right track. So, okay, the guard has been known to slip and fall. This we already know. That's why I've got the... The, um, the roller skate there, you know. I know that, but I forget how to get him in. And you can see, you can see to the right, there's that little air pump thingy. Hmm, do I do it? Yes, I'm a chicken. Before honking for the guard. Honking? Hmm, do I put two and two together? Do I? No, of course not. Because I'm a moron. That's not really a honk. You can't honk with a gaze. Nope. It's not working. And I know you guys all think I'm pathetic at this point. And you know what? I don't like it. I don't like feeling pathetic. I just want this guy's attention. I'm so desperate for his attention. Okay. Yeah, you saw me. Yeah, there you go. You saw it. The horn. I was too stupid. But now... See, there's the sign above there, too, that you read, honk the horn for the guard. That makes sense. But still is one of those stumpers. It really got me. So that's it, guys. That's it for this one, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.